Hello friends, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. So this is about BMS Institute of Technology and Management for those students who are not getting good ranks, uh, good ranks through KSET, Combat or any other exam. So they can guess, basically go for you know management quota seats. In BMS ITM is one of the top notch brand for quality education in Bangalore. And that is also justified by its NIRF ranking. So last year it was under band 201 to 300 top engineering colleges in India. You can see the ranking here. And talking about the college, it's part of the BMS group of college, which has BMS CE. And this college specifically was started in 2002. So almost like 20 batches of this college have already passed. And location-wise, this college is located in uh, in a uh, Doda Palla Pram Main Road, Yelanka Town. And the campus is quite beautiful, 21.5 acres. And this is one of the main picture of the campus, right? So you can see it's quite beautiful. The uh, address is wise, it's Avalahalli area in Yelanka, Bangalore. And these are the complete contact details for the admission in case you are going for management quota or any other thing or even hostel purpose. So every details are there on these contact numbers. You can call them. Now I'm going to talk about the status. So it is an autonomous engineering college from 21, 20 to 21 batch. So it's a good option there. And there are seven UG programs and two PG programs which are accredited by NBA already. And it's a NAC. A grade college with uh, AICT ex approval extended already and um, permanent affiliation to VTU. So autonomous college under VTU and it is UC UGC recognized under 12B of the UGC Act for the central government funding purpose. Now this is the last year's fee and uh, seat in tech. So you can see all the branches which are available. So electronics and communication engineering ECE 120 seats. Computer Science Engineering CSC 240 seats, Mechanical Engineering 60 seats and all the core branches like Tripoli which is 60 seats and Electronics and Telecommunication also 60 seats. The Computer Related Branch which is Information Science Engineering there you see 240 seats and Civil Engineering 60 seats, AIML Branch 180 seats and then you have Computer Science and Business System also available 60. So large number of computer seats are available along with EC which are the best options to study. And talking about the admission process, so it takes admission for Karnataka residents through KSET exam or CET exam. And for non-Karnataka domicile students, they can also get admission through Comed K exam. Which and then there are also management quota seats which are available in this college so you can get uh, admission i'll talk about the management quota fees in the later part of this video so cassette code of this college is e126 and comet k e28 now let's talk about the management quota so if you have not got a good you know uh, exam through cassette or comet k then you can definitely take admission through management quota so fees if you see civil engineering 1.5 lakh rupees per year Triple E branch available at 2 lakh rupees per year. Electronics and communication engineering fees is 3.5 lakh rupees per year. Mechanical engineering 1.5 lakhs per year. And computer science engineering is the costliest option. It is like 6.5 lakh rupees per year. AIML branch is like 5.5 lakh rupees per year. Computer science and business system branch is 4.5 lakh rupees per year. They have not mentioned about the information science engineering branch, but it will be approximately 5.5 lakh rupees per year for ISC also. And then the next course is you can see uh, architecture branch, right? So architecture also management quota fee structure is 3.25 lakh rupees per year. So you can calculate the four year fees based on the amount which is given here. Now they also have the management quota seat for the master's program so these are all masters so mba you can do management quota in 275000 per year and same is the for mca 275000 per year so two years fees will be for each of these two courses will be five and a half lakhs for two years mtech you can do 1 lakh rupees per year for computer science cyber security mtech 1.25 lakh rupees per year and then VLSI and embedded systems MTech is the costliest one which is 2.5 lakh rupees per year so sometimes you know VLSI course is very in high demand and you can see its fees is even more than the computer science so MR you can do in urban design again fees is 1 lakh rupees per year.